Okay, let me go on a rant here. Here is why a lot of women do not take men seriously. Not anymore. Not in my generation, no. And here we go. Because y'all expect us to settle for a two for 25 at Chili's when my perfume costs 100. I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. I have a town home. My car is paid off. Full time job. First of all, I'm also disabled. But nonetheless, for the women that aren't, they are fed up too. What the hell are you talking about? Until you heal that childhood trauma, that trauma that you went through when you were a little girl, that you went through when you were growing up in a fatherless home. That trauma that you went through with your single mother or lack of a father or terrible household or traumatic parents. Until you heal from that, you will keep getting the same results. This is what black men are talking about. This is the reason why the dating market is filled with pee and feces. Because of women just like this, the modern woman strikes again. What's up everybody and welcome to another video. Don't forget to hit that like button on your way in, tickle that notification bell. I will let you know every time I upload brand new content. So what we're going to do, we're going to roll that clip. Okay, let me go on a rant here. Here is why a lot of women do not take men seriously. Not anymore. Not in my generation, no. And here we go. Because y'all expect us to settle for a two for 25 at Chili's when my perfume costs 100 I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. I have a town home. My car is paid off. Full time job. First of all, I'm also disabled. But nonetheless, for the women that aren't, they are fed up too. What the hell are you talking about? And they have a right to be. Because a lot of you same fatherless MFs that complain about women being gold diggers are the same ones following Instagram models. You're the same one saying you do not like girls or women that wear makeup. But so are you. This is why you can't get your life together. Calling women gold diggers because you didn't have a father to sit down with you and explain what it is to be with a woman of a certain lifestyle that you lust after, but then you say you don't want in real life. Bye, Felicia. So here we have exhibit A, and this is the reason why I tell men so much. You need to vet a woman before you take her out on a date. And I'm going to break the game down for men. If you are a man and you are considering taking a woman out and she doesn't want to do a Starbucks date, a Zaxby's date, a low-cost date, a free date, don't even call it a date. Just be like, yo, you want to hang out? And the woman's like, cool, I'll meet you there at five. That's a woman that you want to pursue. You don't want to pursue these women that we're going to be looking at today because the main issue is them. Just got back from top five worst dates of my life. And yeah, I should have seen it coming. First red flag, he asked me, if I wanted to go to Olive Garden. Um, yeah, I quickly curved that and suggested a place that wasn't Olive Garden. We go to a food hall that I suggest and I pick a different food stall than he picks and he walks away when I stop to order my food. So basically I have to pay for my own food. That's right. Good job, man. Everybody stand up. Give this man a round of applause right now. Give him a round of applause because he understood. He suggested Olive Garden. The woman suggested somewhere else. If you're going to suggest another place to eat, why don't you pay? Pow. Oh! See, you want 
demand to pay for your suggestion? Absolutely not. That guy should have gotten that woman to pay for his food and her own food. Ladies, always remember, if the man suggests the date and you suggest another place, you pay. What are we, 12? Like, I mean, I didn't ask myself on this date, right? You asked me out. At this point, I'm like, there's no salvaging this at all. Like, you're not serious. You're not my type. We're probably talking for an hour and a half, almost two hours. I'm like feeling bad about it. I'm like, okay, maybe give him a second chance. Again, it's slim pickings out here. Like, reconsidering going on a second date with him. They don't want, they think they're too good for Olive Garden and low cost and free days. But then we're going to get into why that's not working out for them so well. Now, is it? I call him, I tell him, hey, like, I'm only 15 minutes away from home, but um, I'm falling asleep. Like, can you just stay on the phone with me? And he's like, what are you, ta what are you talking about? Like, no, I'm not gonna stay on the phone with you. Like, goodbye. Like, I'm like, wait, no, I said, I'm, I'm falling asleep at the wheel. He's like, well, if you're falling asleep, you shouldn't be driving. And I'm like, okay, I'm only 15 minutes away. If we could just stay on the phone and talk to me, like, I would be good. And he, He's just like, I'm going to go. And he hangs up. The morning before, like, there was another sign and we had gotten to an argument about it. And there was another sign and we had gotten to an argument about it. And there was another sign and we had gotten to an argument about it. And I, like, started crying because I realized, like, oh, my God, I like this man so much. It's hard to find people you really connect with you really enjoy spending time with that make you laugh that you think highly of it's just hard it is so dating it is so hard dating is, dating is so hard dating is so hard so you you want to you want to see the best in people and you, you want to give people chances and it's like if something is an issue for you it's an issue um it doesn't matter if that person doesn't see it as a big deal like if that's a problem for you th that's a problem for the both of you here this is the reason why a lot of women are single you need to humble yourself you can't demand five star treatment from a person that you just met five hours ago it's not going to work you're demanding that a man will give you five-star treatment when you haven't done anything to earn it. So this is where the disconnect will come in at in relationships is that women feel entitled to get certain things just because they are a woman and the man we're like no you've got to earn that treatment so what makes you different than everybody else that's what we are looking for we are looking for someone that is not like the other you need to be that person that is not like the nowadays everybody's looking the same acting the same dressing the same learning the same living the same spending the same eating the same but what about you makes you unique why should a man date you it's so hard dating is, dating is so hard in a relationship what does a man get when he dates you, does he get stress? Does he get drama? Does he get trauma? Does he get baggage? Does he get self-esteem issues? Does he get trauma? What does he get when dating him? A lot of women just don't have anything to offer. That's the reason why the dating market is so bad. And so when you look at things that are going on, this is the result of what people are going through. And see, it didn't age well when I did it. See, this woman made a video talking about how she's too good for Olive Garden, but now she's crying because the dating market is too hard. And I remember Tia Mallory said this. How hard is it 
in the dating Ooh, world now. Oh my god! <laughs> what is it like out there for for, Do for we a single woman? Shot of tequila. No. <laughs> No, I'm I've been sick. single for five years, so huh? I don't know what this world is like out there. But I know, it, but from what I see and from what I hear, it is tough. It is very tough. See, you think it's all fun and games until the dating market hits you back into reality. See, it's time for women to shape up. It's time for women to get it together because you need to stop. Stop it. Get some help. Just because a man takes you to Olive Garden doesn't mean he's broke. But you block your blessing by assuming. A lot of you ladies could have been in great relationships right now. But you block your blessing. Because you're looking for a man to spend, spend, spend. You equate a man's value based on how much money he spends on you. Women of today's time, they put more value on how much a man is able to spend than by who he is as an individual and a person. That's what gets you into so much trouble. So many women have their hands out, but they don't have their hearts open. So many women have their hands out, but they don't have their head open. So many women have their hands out, but they have their emotions closed off. They don't want to heal. They don't want to deal with family trauma. They don't want to deal with relationship issues. And then they take their baggage from one relationship to the next. And then they wonder why no one wants to date you. And the common denominator in all of these situations is you. It's you. Come here. Let me, let me talk to you for a second. Stop blaming everyone else. It is not everyone else's fault. It is your fault. It is your responsibility. It is your trauma. It is your pain. It is your mistakes that you have to heal from. Until you heal that childhood trauma, that trauma that you went through when you were a little girl, that you went through when you were growing up in a fatherless home, that trauma that you went through with your single mother or lack of a father or terrible household or traumatic parents, until you heal from that, you will keep getting the same result. And I want you to be happy. I want you to live and get married and have children and have a beautiful family if that's what you desire. But before you can do that, you have to heal. It's okay to cry. You may be watching this video and you're like, damn, he really is making sense because I know what I'm talking about. Healing takes work, but it's worth it. And I want you to be a beautiful black woman, the beautiful black woman that you are destined to be. But until you heal, you'll always be caught in the same cycle. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Like, share, subscribe. Tickle that notification bell that will let you know when I upload new content. And if this content helped you in any way, leave a comment, start the discussion, and share this video with somebody who needs it. And until the next video, peace. <laughs>